Hi everyone, welcome to Stop Gaps Home Practice. This session is called Expressive Hands. Short clips from this season of home practice. Our disabled and non-disabled teachers dance and deliver their sessions in a brightly lit studio with a wooden floor. Pastel coloured geometric shapes glide across to reveal text inside the outline of a house. Home practice. Expressive hands. Hi everyone, my name is Christian. I'm a white male standing dancer. I'm really tall and I smile a lot. And today I'm wearing a dark green t-shirt with a yellow stripe and light gray trousers. I am also sitting down. It's gonna give you an audio description of the space that I'm in in case it's useful for you. We have a wooden floor, there's some benches behind me and there's also some artwork. So this session is called Expressive Hands and it's inspired by artificial things from the GCSE anthology. So this session isn't just gonna be useful for GCSE students, but they may find it useful. So hands are really important in artificial things. Dave, one of the dancers, moves on his hands throughout the whole piece. Dave and Laura also have a duet together where their hand placement is very accurate and precise. Amy and David have a duet together where their hand touches are very delicate and also there are many intricate grips that come in the tumbling section. And finally, in family portraits, there are also very detailed movements of the hands. So in this session, we're going to work on expressiveness, details and textures within the hands. You're not going to need to warm up and this session is great for a small space and you can do it in whatever position you wish. I'm going to do this seated on my chair and this is going to be my working position for this session. It may be useful to you to have something to support your back while we're working through. Let's get started. Let's begin by taking the hands out in front of us and let's have the palms face the ceiling. And to begin with, I'm just going to take in our hands. So we're just going to notice the lines, notice the width of our palms, the length of our fingers and thumb. And then from here, we am going to take the thumb and we're just going to brush over the tips of all the fingers. Start to bring some sensation to them. We go from one side to the other. And then from here, let's bring the tips of the fingers to the palm, almost like we're stroking the palm, which will bring some sensation there as well. Let's keep a nice steady breath. From here, let's just start to articulate the fingers and the thumb, almost through ripples. And while we're doing this, we just try and stay soft in the hands, but also in the body. And then from here, I'm going to start to circle the hands, keeping soft fingers, but also articulate, and also soft thumbs and articulate. And let's reverse and go the other way with our rotations. And you can watch your hands while you're doing this if you wish. And then you're going to bring your hands so that the palms are facing down. And you're going to pull back on your palms so there's energy coming out of the back of them. And you're going to pull them towards your shoulders. And your fingertips are going to curl forwards and almost magnetise towards the underside of your forearms. Let's reverse. So we go back towards the shoulders, energy in the back of the palms. Fingertips down, magnetise towards your forearms. Let's do this a couple more times. And 
one last time. And then just give your hands a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a soft rotate before we move on. From here, again, palms facing down, you're gonna find a fist in both hands, find it softly and then find a squeeze. And we're gonna open the hands as much as we can, as much energy in our fingers and thumb as we can. And then we're gonna close again. Soft fist, then squeeze. Then open the hands as wide as we can. One more time. Soft fist and squeeze. Then open the hand as wide as we can. And rest and just have a little shake again. Really finding lots of texture in the hands now. So we're now, and we have a bit of free form, and we're gonna work with the image of wading through water in the hands. So we feel the water come between our fingers, washing over our palms, around our thumb. And again, it's very soft. So we can work with asymmetry, so each hand doing something different. And just to remind ourselves to think about the position that we're in while we're using our hands. And then from here, from this very soft texture, we're now going to go as if we're wringing out a towel. So we find a bit more thickness, a bit more squeeze, almost a bit more grab in the hands. You try and want to get as much water out as possible. Really squeezing, wringing out. Almost like we're spiraling the hands around each other. Squeezing. And let's be here for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Give your hands a little shake, a little shaking rotate. And now we're gonna take one hand with the other and we're just gonna use our thumb just to find a sense of massage in the palm. So I'm really pressing in, as much as is good for me, over my palm, whereas brushing over finding a sense of squeeze. Then we're gonna to come to the fingers and we're just gonna reach all the way up and then give them a bit of a pull. Let's move down through every finger. Finishing at the thumb. And let's move on to the other side. So again, we're finding our sense of massage, using as much pressure as is useful to you. Brushing over your palm. And then let's move to the fingers. So you're squeezing up and then lengthen at the end. Go through all your fingers. Finishing at your thumb. And again, just give your hands a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a rotate. So now I'm going to learn a sequence that uses lots of details, lots of articulation and textures in the hands. So we're gonna begin by taking the index finger and thumb on one side and index finger and thumb on the other side. And then we're gonna link them together to make a chain. From here, we're going to softly open the chain, softly find it again, then we're going to resist until the chain breaks. Palms face the ceiling, ripple in the fingers, bring the palms together. Let's go from the top. So you find your chain link, softly open, softly close. 
resist and break. Palms to ceiling, ripple fingers, palms together. The fingers quickly shift to go in between each other and we find a resisted clasp. From here the hands softly open. We find a fist in one side, find a fist in the other. Spread the hands on one side, spread the hands on the other side. Let's go back from the top. Find your chain, softly open, softly close. Resist and break. Palms to ceiling, ripple fingers, palms together. Quickly fingers in between to clasp, softly open. Find a fist, find a fist, spread the hands, spread the hands. Grab a box, lift it up, put it down. Get some chewing gum and stretch it to the side. Coming in, stretch it up, bring it back in from the top. Find your chain link, softly open, softly close. Resist and break. Palms to ceiling, ripple fingers, palms together, quickly fingers in between, clasp. Softly open, find a fist, find a fist. Spread the hand, spread the hand. Grab a box, lift it up, put it down. Stretch to the side and in, stretch up above and in. Trace the back of the forearm with the fingertips. Trace the other side of the forearm with the fingertips. Bring the wrists together. Join your little finger, ring finger, middle, index and thumb. Let's get back from the beginning. Find your chain link. Softly open, softly close. Resist and break. Palms to the ceiling, ripple fingers, palms together. Shift fingers in between and clasp. Softly open, find a fist, find a fist. Spread the hand, spread the hand. Grab a box, lift it up. Put it down, stretch to the side and in. Stretch up and in. Trace the back of the forearm, trace the other side of the forearm. Wrist together. Join little finger, ring, middle, index, thumb. Octopus on a mirror, we pulse one, two, three, Press away, four. Caress a sphere with your hands for five, four, three, two, one. Refind your chain link. From the beginning. Find your chain. Softly open, softly close. Resist and break. Palms to the ceiling, ripple fingers, palms together. Shift fingers in between and clasp. Softly open, find a fist, find a fist. Spread your hand, spread your hand. Grab a box, lift it up, put it down. Stretch to the side and in, stretch up above, and in. Trace the back of the forearm, trace the other side of the forearm, wrist together. Join little finger, ring, middle, index, thumb. Octopus on a mirror, one, two, three, press away, four. Press a sphere for five, four, three, Two, one, refine your chain. 
So that's the whole sequence. So we're now going to do it with some music. You're going to hear it coming very soon. It's quite atmospheric and it helps to keep the meditative state that we've created while we've learned this sequence. The first time through, I'm going to say the words to help you. Here we go. And let's begin. Find your chain. Softly open, softly close. Resist. Break. Palms to the ceiling. Ripple fingers. Palms together. Fingers in between. Clasp. Softly open. Find a fist. Find a fist. Spread your hand. Spread your hand. Grab a box. Lift. Put down. Stretch to the side. In. Stretch up. And in. Trace the forearm. And the other side. Wrist together. Join little finger. Ring. Middle. Index. Thumb. Octopus. One. Two. Three. And four. Caress a sphere. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Find your chain. And rest. So we're going to do the sequence one more time, but this time it's a chance for you to dance with your hands with the music in your own time. Here we go. Find rest when you finish. Thanks so much for joining me everyone. I hope you managed to find lots of articulations and textures in your hands. Stay tuned for Lucy's creative task video where you're going to be exploring lots of gestures. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and once again thanks for joining me. Take care everyone. Home practice. Stop Gap Dance Company.